Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle, today with the impossible Excalibur puzzle. I had many requests of you guys to solve this puzzle, and I got it, I tried it, and well, did I make it? We will see in this video, but um, is it really impossible? Well, I can tell you already, it's, it's pretty tough, pretty tough, and um, it absolutely deserves a 10 star rating. It's a burr puzzle, so it means it needs to be disassembled and reassembled again. I will show you in today's video due to the time it takes only the disassembly. And it is manufactured by Pelican Puzzles in the Czech Republic and was designed by Stefan Baumegger from Austria. Also, Stefan is running the Facebook page Puzzle Leisure. So if you would like to see more of his amazing burr puzzle designs, then just check out his Facebook channel. Link in the video description if you're interested. As usual for Pelican, you can see already, this is absolutely high quality and excellently crafted. It consists out of eight burr pieces made from Wenge wood. They are held together in this wooden frame from Sherry wood. The swords blade is made, as far as I can see, from white oak. And the nicest detail here on this puzzle, the sword handle made from purple heart. So absolutely amazing puzzle and as usual for Pelican, absolutely great quality. But before we start solving this legendary puzzle, I would like to thank Brilliant.org for sponsoring today's episode. Brilliant.org is a problem solving website that teaches you how to think like a mathematician or a scientist. Pick your favorite courses in math, science and computer science or follow Brilliant's recommendations that are based on your personal interests. Also you get frequently challenged by the problems of the week. Grouped in basic, intermediate and advanced difficulty, they train you to continuously improve your problem solving skills. So unlike listening and copying the boring school lesson, Brilliant provides you a very efficient way of learning by sparking your interest to solve problems on your own. To support Mr. Puzzle and learn more about Brilliant, use the link in the video description, go to brilliant.org slash Mr. Puzzle and sign up for free. And also, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Thanks again for Brilliant for supporting my channel. And now, let's solve this monster of a puzzle here and get Excalibur out of this brick. So, let's start with the puzzle. I marked some of the pieces here with colored stickers, in the meanwhile some are left and I do not need them anymore, but this helped me a lot to remember the positions I need to achieve to progress here and solve this puzzle. You can imagine it like a one way, you need to go from start to the end with the correct pass. Overall we have 100 or close to 120 steps I think to perform to solve this one and disassemble it, get the sword out. And you can imagine it like a one way, you need to follow this one way from the beginning to the end and if you leave the wrong way on, a, on the wrong junction, you will end up, uh, end up in a dead end. And you need to go back and you need to notice when you are again on the right path and continue. I will now solve this puzzle. It's very difficult to also not get stuck at some um, points. And if this happens, I will just uh, skip these parts with a fast forward and try to do this now without a cut completely through. But we will see if it works. Okay, at first I start here with this blue piece. I will try to hold it that you can see all the moves, but this is also difficult to do for every single move. So I hope you will see all the moves that I do. This can get also fiddly sometime. Pieces get stuck because there are so many movable pieces and they just get stuck on the edges. For example, now here. So sometimes I need a little bit to adjust. And you can see these shifting movements here on the bottom. I do. I move the whole, all the pieces to the left and to the right. And this is, these are moves that are very difficult to find because 
you cannot really predict or see them because a lot of parts are moving and after after each move you get a complete structure. also for example this move here is um, pretty difficult inside here you need to go upwards and this gets stuck also a lot of times so have you seen it i move this one upwards very difficult move also This one, I think this one need to go one step, yeah, one step more. And I should be able to move this one upwards. Now I can move the one at the bottom. Okay, let's go on with this. This one out, this one down. I hope you're still awake. Otherwise, I will wake you up at the end of this video very tight some pieces here as you have seen, a lot of force needed to move them. And now I think like so. And also here. Yeah, this, yeah. this looks right, I think. This one in. Up. Over here. Now I think up again. in you get now an idea why this puzzle is so difficult to solve the pieces get a little bit loose now but don't be fooled here there's still a long way to go a long long way Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it's okay. Oh, I need to place it here on the table. And you see what happened now? It's rotated a bit, which makes it very difficult to perform any moves. I just need to move the pieces back they are straight and if I operate it here on the flat on the table it's easier if I hold it here that you can see what I'm doing it is more difficult that um, to air uh, to prevent this therefore I just need to get it back in the same condition as before and now try again to get this piece in because I think this if I remember right this need to get in like so now this one over here move somehow upwards but ah yeah okay okay i think that's that looks good i think okay let's go on again move here on the bottom side this one down oh shit Okay. Okay. 
I hope you're at least a little bit impressed of what I'm doing here. I can tell you it's not easy. <laughs> I'm getting more and more confused the more I progress. So now I should be able to move this one down, I think. Yeah. If anyone can tell me, let's say, um, a way how to solve these puzzles with only with logical thinking without, um, yeah, let's say, some learning it and just following some key orientations or positions here. If there's a way of logical thinking how to solve this, just let me know. That can be done by a human. <laughs> Okay, but this looks, I think this looks good. I'm progressing. And now, this one up, I think. You can see inside here how many parts and they need to be all lined up in the correct way to be able to move this one up. But it looks, it looks well. So far it went better as I expected. Expected to struggle more with it. Look at this mess here inside. Now I need to somehow get this one up, this one back, and this one down. Oh, you see this? This one. Over here, this one in, out again, up again. Now these two back, yeah. This one over here, this one down. This one down, if possible, somehow. Something in the way. Not sure where it's stuck, but it is. Oh. Oh, brute force it. Okay. At least it's done. One more step in. These two back to the rear. This one is fine. And now I should be able to press these two over here. No, they are stuck. I don't want to break anything. <laughs> oh man. Where is it stuck? Come on. Ah, okay. I think I got it now. This one inside here, this one I move back and this one need to also move upwards. And now I think it's free that I can move it over here. And here we go. Okay. Very good. Now I can move this one down again. Woo. I thought for a moment I'm lost, but I managed to get out of the, as I explained at the beginning, I managed to get out of the one way at a dead end, back on the one way. <laughs> so let's see. looser the parts are, the more I'm struggling here to move them, because they get stuck. Man. I think we are very close before I can remove the first part. It should be this one here. Okay, I think 
I'm back on track. Just a second. I need to get this one down back there. The glue one inside here. Yeah, come on. Yes, he's down. And now, now I should be able to remove the first part. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Can only get better from now. But there's still a long way to go, even if you won't believe. Oh, the sword comes down. Okay, now it gets even more difficult because we have some free play in here. I need to be careful to not break anything or push the parts, completely twist them or something like this. Is this correct? I think so. I hate this one. This one is the worst of all. <laughs> this is a real... Uh, I won't lose any swearing here in my channel. Now let's watch it. Watch this move. Just a second. Now I should be able to move a lot of these parts to the front if they are all positioned in the right way. But before that, I need to move this one down here, and I, I'm not sure um, how this was done. Okay, here we go. I just moved back again a few steps and moved forward again. And now I do not know what was wrong, but now they seem to be in the right position, and now I can shift this one down inside here the first time i used this sword after i don't know how many moves <laughs> actually and now we, we can progress moving this to the front i think and now we move this one not sure what to do here okay so i need to move this one down this one to the front and i just saw this one was not working because it was somehow stuck. I need to align this one and this one and then I can pull it out even more. And if I now go back and up, second part removed from the frame. So six more to go. Let's see, so where, where can I progress here? I think now the red one here is the next one, but I do not remember exactly how to do it. I think I can just navigate through here and Take it out. Yes, one more, five to go. Okay, you can see there's a lot of free play here, but um, I'm not allowed to take the pieces out, twist them and just take them out diagonal. I'm only allowed to make shifting movements up, down, inside, outside and so on, okay? So we will not violate here any rules. We do the official, official solve here, so I need to be careful. Otherwise you will kill me in the comments, I'm sure about that. this one out I think down now it's, it's still more difficult as you might expect I think I need to get one more step inside ah, I, I am already actually okay now I need to go get this thing here out again this, this damn Excalibur sword Ooh. Okay, all the way up, I think. And I could go the easy way now and just remove it. But not this time. Somehow I need to get, I know that I need next to remove this red piece here, but um, I do not remember what move I need to do to do so. I only know or I only remember I somehow need to create some free play over here. Let's see, let's see, I think I have an idea.
I know if you... I'm intending to do a move, but I'm just not able to do it. So I moved all the parts up now. And now I should be able to remove this. Number six, get out! <laughs> okay, so here we go. Number six is out. Coming even closer to the impossible. Can you feel that? Can you feel the impossible? Something impossible will happen soon. <laughs> I think next I need to remove here this part. Oh, the sticker. Lo I lost the sticker. Next I need to remove this one, I think. But somehow, I mean, look at this mess. Not sure, I lost a little bit of orientation here, you can see it. We should be able to put it, put, uh, get it out here. If I, whoa. Okay. Now it fall apart. But anyway, I think that counts, or oh, that counts. Yeah, I was so close here to the end. <laughs> Just a few more moves, but you have seen um, this was impossible impossible to handle the single parts. They just fall, uh, one part just fall out. And now it's the time to make the impossible happen. Excalibur is out! And this is how it looks like. Have you expected in all these movies that the sword inside of this uh, stone or brick would look like this? Seems to be not, like a normal sword, right? But no, this is the shape. This is Excalibur and how it looks like. So Stefan, this is an amazing puzzle. A little bit fiddly sometimes, but I think um, overall it's incredible. Yeah? Incredible design, incredible also Pelican, incredible work here on these parts. And I can only say, um, if you like this episode, just check out my Facebook and Instagram channels, of course, as well. Hit the bell if you would like to stay informed about future videos. And also, of course, comment below if you are happy with this solution. If you watched the, I'm interested to know and be honest if you watched the complete video or if you just skip to the end and um, watch the final steps. Um, very interesting for me if you did it. And yeah, until next time, I can only say keep on puzzling. <laughs>